For as long as I can remember, I've always had to set my own expectations for success. I knew what success felt like, but more importantly, I understood how awful it felt to not quite measure up. As a 14-year-old just entering high school, I set my expectations high and proceeded with little to no guidance. By the end of the year, I felt good and I did really well. So from there on, and every year since, um, the bar was set just a little bit higher. The next thing I know, um, well, the freshman, as I, sorry, um, from freshman year of college, from freshman year of high school to my freshman year of college, one thing remained the same: my unrelenting desire to be better than who I was the year before. Um, I wanted to change my reality and become someone who I was proud to be. With freshman and sophomore year under my belt, uh, I enter my junior year with the same mentality of hustling right now and enjoy the results later. But eventually, next thing I know, I'm taking five classes, working two jobs, 35 hours a week, and commuting almost an hour to school each way. I eventually take a step back and ask myself, what quality of life is, what quality of life is this? That's when I decided to join the semester in the city. It seemed like a no-brainer. I'd be able to work in my favorite city, doing what I love, and working for an organization as incredible as PBHA. But that being said, I came to semester in the city believing that I had to succeed on my own, because after all, independence is all I've ever known. But flash forward to January 29th, the first day of internships, I walked onto Harvard's campus having a mild panic attack, asking myself, how could I possibly deserve to be working alongside the best and brightest in the entire world? <laughs> As I tried to calm myself down, I entered the doors of PBHA, only to be greeted by my incredible mentor, Louise. She introduced me around the office, and to my surprise, it felt really good. And despite how good I was feeling, I knew that I still had a lot left to prove. As the weeks went on, I felt myself get stressed out with the amount of work that I had. And I knew that I would have to soon ask for help. And uh, I can distinctly remember a time where I was sitting in the basement, right next to Louise at the computer, <laughs> thinking to myself, what's a grant, and how do I even research one? <laughs> and so I must have sat there for at least 25 minutes just contemplating whether or not I would even ask for help. Finally, I swallowed my pride and said, Louise, what am I doing? <laughs> and then I found myself apologizing for asking so many stupid questions, but Louise ensured me that there's actually no stupid questions, and the only way to understand the task is by asking about it. Throughout the semester, asking for help got easier, and I felt myself, um, I felt my confidence increasing, not only in, not only in my work, but in my daily life as well. Um, and throughout the semester, uh, I've learned that there's so much beauty in the struggle of understanding that there's no way to be an expert on your first try. No one's expecting you to be perfect all the time. And despite the challenges that we face, we're all worthy of our own love and respect. Through the support of my incredible mentor, Louise, the amazing staff at PBHA, and um, CFSI staff members, I learned, um, <laughs> uh, I learned that the only true, truly way, the only true way to be successful is by allowing yourself to ask for help and by giving yourself the grace and leniency to mess up. I can say that this was an incredibly difficult lesson to learn, coming from someone who's particularly hard on themselves. But I'm so grateful that I learned it. Now, flash forward to this moment, to today, and I can say with my whole heart, this is something that I have to work at every day. But if I know anything at all, it's that through, um, that it's through grace, and through leniency, and through support, that I can stand up here today and say that I'm going places, that I'm worth it, and that my future is so bright. Thank you.